The first one is we've got to stop doing traditional interviews. With the, the idea of sitting behind a desk and crossing our legs and giving our resume and having a conversation like, so do you have any weaknesses? Oh, you're an ax murderer? Oh, nobody says their weaknesses that well. And they've rehearsed and everybody can do that. So let's go to the next slide where it says, we've got to do non-traditional interviews. This sounds so simple, but I actually think that when you interview people, you should do something like take them shopping, preferably for underwear. Take them someplace where they have to be a little uncomfortable, not something crazy, but something that you're gonna see how they interact with people in a real environment. Take them to your kid's basketball practice and have them set up cones or do a drill. See how they deal with human beings. And people go, can you really do that? And the answer is yes, because they don't want to work for you if they're not going to fit. You don't want to work with them if they're not going to fit. Do things that get to know them for who they really are. The second thing I think we need to be doing in our interviewing is what I call the law and order school of interviewing. Okay, so let's go to the next one. So, and that is, we have to ask questions more than once. Now, Law and Order, I don't know if you've seen that show. Um, it's a detective show based in New York, you know, and the... the when they show the, the case, they'd always go, Kung, you know, and they'd show that. I've seen every episode. Um, so here's what I found. At least this is what it looked like to me. Whenever they would interview a perp, you know, they would be like, so did you kill her? And the guy would say, no, I didn't kill her. And they'd say, come on, did you kill her? I told you I didn't kill her. And they'd say it the third time, did you kill her? And he'd go, okay, I killed her. <laughs> that was like how they found out somebody was guilty. It seems like they just had to ask him three times and the person would finally admit it. Now that sounds preposterous, I know, but when we're, when we're interviewing people, we have to ask questions more than once and in different ways and from different perspectives. We can't go ask the question and then when they tell us they're good at something, just go, well, I asked them. If you don't in your gut feel like you got a raw answer and if you don't feel like that jives with everything else you've seen, you owe it to that person, to yourself and to your organization to keep probing. Now, let's say you get to the end of it and you, and, and you feel like you've, you're, you're pretty sure you've got the right person, but there's still that, just that last little doubt, maybe. The last thing you have to do is this, and that's our next slide, is scare people with sincerity. I love this one. So you've interviewed this person and you want to say to them, listen, here's the deal. So I think we've had a good interview here. Working here means we're going to get mad at each other sometimes because we really debate things. We make good decisions and somebody's going to ruffle your feathers. Now, if you're good with that, that's great. That's great. If you're not, if that's hard for you, then you shouldn't work here probably because you're going to hate it because it's going to happen regularly. And we're not going to enjoy you because we're going to feel bad for that. And then you're going to be looking for another job in three months. And that's going to be a terrible situation. And then we might not like each other. And that would be horrible.